Hello, hello! Welcome back to the Stay Fitness channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Daniela. I'm a fitness nutrition life coach specialized in obesity and diabetes management. So today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a true ingredient, super quick, super easy, uh, carnivore-based pizza. I saw the recipe from an Italian channel called Keto Style Low Carb. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. Of course, you can translate it. You can put like English subtitle. You can have a look to that video. Uh, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Like the video is pretty visual. So even if you don't understand what they're saying, you can still watch the original video. Um, I thought it was uh, a bit different than what you see uh, made in the usual channels with like. Uh, chicken mints and stuff like that it was just and so I was like let's give it a go um, even because the previous experience I didn't really like them so I was like okay let's try it um, but yeah uh, it's, as I say so if you have uh, some cooked chicken breast um, you can make it in a few minutes uh, and yeah super easy it comes out pretty nice I haven't tasted it yet uh, so let's see if it tastes nice uh, but first of all let's look at how to make it so as I said uh, you're going to need uh, two chicken well, I mean depends how much you want to make I wanted to make like a large pizza so I put two chicken breasts if you okay if you just for yourself for like one person probably one is enough um, and then you're going to cook it some cook it as the way you want it like uh, in an air fryer or if you have like a one chicken from like a rotisserie chicken that's perfect too or like store-bought like cooked uh, chicken breast is fine too or like from a can I know that you in the US, in England we don't have ch canned chicken as long as it's nice and dry because you're gonna need to uh, blend it up in a food processor until you get this uh, chicken kind of flour and then you're going to add eggs so here was a bit of a mistake I added four eggs straight away uh, just add one egg at a time until you get like a bowl like a dough uh, I added four eggs it was a bit too much so it became more like a butter but uh, not to worry it's, I still achieved a good result I just spread it onto a baking paper uh, with the, on a baking tray with a bit of butter underneath just to make sure it doesn't stick I cooked it at 200 degrees, uh, like about 10, 15, 10 minutes ish on both sides. I turned it halfway through so it got nice and uh, crispy on both sides. And then here is uh, where you decide what you want to put on it. If you want to keep it 100% carnivore, then you can, you can skip the tomato sauce, put like a cheese sauce or any sauce that you usually use for pizza. Uh, I used just a bit of passata, it was just a few tablespoons, uh, so I'm okay with that. And then I'm, I made like a meat fist lover, like meat lovers, meat fist pizza uh, with like some kind of, kind of sausage uh, meat uh, that I made with like pork mince sp and spices like garlic powder, onion powder, pepper. Uh, then some uh, Polish sausage, uh, Polish like ham, uh, loads of cheese, uh, like mozzarella, parmesan cheese, and then I baked it until the cheese was nice and uh, like melty. And here you have the pizza, as you can see like, wow, like it stands by itself, it's not like mushy or anything like that. Um, and yeah, it looks, I think it looks pretty great, but the proof is in the pudding, so I need to actually taste it. See, this is why I like stiff pizza. I forgot to say that I added a little bit of uh, garlic powder to the base. It's a bit cold now, so it's a bit like, I mean, cold pizza, someone likes it, I like it hot. But really nice. I mean, you can taste the chicken in the base, like you're not gonna escape from that. But overall, this is the most, the nicest one I tasted so far. Uh, even nicer than the almond flour, anything like that they tried. Look, it's nice and crispy at the bottom. It's not crispy. Oh yeah. It's not crispy, it's not like crispy at all. But honestly, 
I'm impressed. Later on, I'm going to heat it up again, get the cheese nice and melty. Perfect dinner, like Saturday night. If you make some of my uh, uh, carnivore nachos, like Doritos and all those, and put some, uh, have it with some like dips and things, you put this pizza, you have like a proper Saturday night kind of takeout feast. I mean, I'm so, literally, I'm so pleased. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much, Keto Style Low Carb uh, YouTube channel, for in coming up with this recipe. It's definitely something I'm going to be doing in the future. Uh, I mean, I'm Italian, so I'm a massive pizza snob, but being gluten free, to be honest, is never like ideal. Because um, as of you guys probably know, I'm gluten intolerant, so I can never have like normal pizza in a place like it's always kind of like an okay version so i'm quite pleased with this one as i said like a million times but i really guys i really want you to guys to give it a go uh, and let me know how it goes let me know in the comments below if you have any questions if you do try it you can tag me on instagram follow me on my instagram page uh, tag me on all your pictures i love to see that uh, but yeah thank you so much for watching uh, remember to subscribe to the channel if you uh, want to see more of these kind of things experiments i do some educational stuff as well metabolic health and all that uh, I wish you all a lovely day and I'll see you next time.